So there's a restaurant in downtown Madrid. It's called Casa Lucio. They're famously known for serving some of the best authentic Spanish food, not only in Madrid, but in all of Spain. Now their flagship dish is called huevos estrellados, which is basically potatoes that are fried in extra virgin olive oil, then topped off with a couple fried eggs, and you cut that yolk open, that way it coats the potatoes. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make huevos estrellados exactly how they serve them in Casa Lucio, which is the originator of this recipe. Folks, this is one of the most iconic dishes from Spain, and it's also one of those things where less is more, where simplicity meets extraordinary, and let me tell you, it's very easy to make. It's made with just a couple ingredients, and it promises to be one of the best tasting dishes that hail from Spain. We're gonna begin by peeling three medium-sized Yukongo potatoes. Now, to make this recipe, you wanna use potatoes that don't contain too much starch, such as Yukon Gold, New Potatoes, or Golden Delight. Then I'm gonna rinse the potatoes under some cold running water and pat them completely dry. To cut the potatoes, I like to cut off just a little bit from each end. That way you can easily stand the potato up, cut it into vertical slices that are about a quarter inch thick, and then cut each piece of potato once again into quarter inch thick pieces to end up with some classic french fry style cuts. And as you're cutting your potatoes, transfer them into a large bowl. Once all the potatoes are cut and into the bowl, I'm gonna fill it with some cold water. You wanna go to about half an inch above the potatoes. And we're gonna let this sit here for about 30 minutes. This is gonna help remove some of the starch in the potatoes. That way when we cook them, they're gonna have a melt in your mouth interior and the outside a beautiful crispy texture. After about 30 minutes, I'm gonna drain the potatoes into a strainer and rinse the potatoes under some cold running water used to remove any of the excess starch that was left behind. We'll transfer our potatoes into a dishcloth. Make sure they're all in a single layer. And pat the potatoes completely dry. This is such an important step. You wanna remove all that water from each slice of potato. That way when you cook them, they don't get mushy and they get that beautiful crispy texture on the outside. For the next step, I'm gonna grab a large fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in one cup of extra virgin olive oil. Now to make this recipe, you can use different oils such as sunflower oil or canola oil. However, the way they make it in Casa Lucio in Madrid is with extra virgin Spanish olive oil. After heating the olive oil for about four minutes on a medium heat, the oil is nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, so it's not losing any of its beautiful flavor. I'm gonna add in half of the potatoes that we cut into the pan. and make sure all the potatoes are in a single layer. The secret here, make sure to cook these in batches. With the potatoes that we cut, it's only gonna take two batches. You wanna make sure they're on a single layer because if you bunch them all up in there, they're gonna get all mushy and you're not gonna get that beautiful golden crispy texture on the outside. And you don't wanna over mix these potatoes. We're only gonna mix them about one time at the halfway point for now. You just let them sit there and cook in that extra virgin olive oil. After about eight minutes, I'm gonna get in there and move the potatoes around just to ensure that they're all evenly frying. And once again, make sure they're all in a single layer. After about 12 to 13 minutes, the potatoes should be perfectly cooked. You don't wanna overcook them. For this recipe, you just want them to have a light crisp in the outside and a melt your mouth texture in the inside. You can always pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in, they are ready to go. I'm gonna start removing the potatoes from the pan and transferring them into a dish with some paper towels. And continue to cook your next batch of potatoes in the exact same format.
Now while our second batch of potatoes are cooking, I'm gonna grab the ones that I just cooked and add them into a preheated oven. I have it at my lowest setting. This is just to keep them warm. You don't wanna have it too hot in there, otherwise it's gonna overcook the potatoes. And again, you only wanna mix the potatoes around just one time during this cooking process, just to ensure that they're all evenly fried. Once all the potatoes are cooked, make sure to season them with a little sea salt. All right, let's move on to the start of the dish, the eggs. I like to crack my eggs into individual bowls before I add them into the pan. This ensures that no eggshells go in there and that the egg yolks are not broken. Now using the same pan with the same heat that we used to cook the potatoes, I'm gonna add in one of the eggs into the pan. You can cook these all at once. I like to cook them in batches, that way they're all perfectly cooked. And the secret here, you just let that egg sit there in that hot extra virgin olive oil for about 45 seconds. Then you wanna splash some of that hot olive oil on top of the egg to cook the top part of the egg whites, but be careful not to cook that egg yolk. You want it to be nice and creamy. That is the secret of these huevos estrellados. And remove the egg from the pan and continue to fry your eggs in the same technique until they're all done. I'm using three for this recipe. And once again, once all your eggs are fried, make sure to season them with a little sea salt. Okay, let's start assembling our dish. I'm gonna transfer our fried potatoes into a serving dish. Add the fried eggs on top of the potatoes. Make sure all the eggs are in a single layer. And now it's time for the best part of the recipe. Let's break those eggs open. That way that egg yolk can run into the potatoes. We're gonna do it exactly how they do it in Casa Lucio, using a fork and a spoon. And sprinkle it with some fresh parsley. Check it out our huevos estrellados al estilo Casa Lucia are done. This is Spanish comfort food at its best, truly a restaurant quality dish. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. I seriously don't think it can get better than this fried potatoes and extra virgin olive oil with fried eggs. This is the best thing ever. Here we go. Bravo, so good. Those potatoes melt in your mouth. The eggs are perfectly fried with that creamy egg yolk. Like I told you earlier, less is more where simplicity meets extraordinary. Now you know how to make the authentic huevos estrellados from Casa Lucio. Make them at home. You can serve these for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It doesn't matter when because they're going to absolutely blow you away. Really quick before I go, a shout out to one of my patrons, Clarence Bowen. Once again, Clarence, thank you so much for being a patron of Spain on Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. It helps me with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.